and welcome back to a deck tech with Zane. We're looking at black green Tron today. We're going to go through the, each of the cards and why they're good in the deck and uh, why you'd want to play this in modern right now. So modern has very different variants of Tron. They vary from red green, green black, and green white. Green is always the base color with an additional color for support spells. My personal favorite is black, since you get Collective Brutality and Fatal Push. The Fatal Push and the Duress in the sideboard are very useful in most matchups. And the Collective Brutality main gives a good hedge against Burn. Uh, you have your Urza's Towers, your Urza's Power Plant, and your Urza's Mine. This is your tr Tron Lands, if you control all three. The, this one will produce two, the power plant will produce two, and your Urza's Tower will produce three mana. You also have your utility lands, Sanctum of Ugin to search for more creature threats, and the Ghost Quarter, one main. You also have the green lands, and also the black lands, so you can ha cast your green and black spells in your main deck. Let's move to the one drop slot. We can move to Ancient Stirrings, the green one drop that is a cantrip. It finds what you don't have in your hand, what you need. It can find a threat, it can find a land, it can just find an artifact that goes into another threat. This is a very good card, it's very unlikely to miss, uh, almost impossible, and uh, it finds what you need when you need it. The next card is Sphere and Star, which I'm going to group together. They're both mana bobbles which means they produce mana and they also draw you a card uh, mana of any color that you have to sacrifice them and pay one so it siphons your mana for colored it makes it so you can cast the green and black spells in the deck while it's still using your urza's lands which produce a lot of mana the expedition map is key for getting your tron pieces together uh, expedition map can find the third tron piece so you have Tron on turn three by playing one Tron piece, playing Expedition Map, playing another Tron piece, cracking Expedition Map for the third Tron piece. The Relics of Progenitus are very good as a hedge. There's two in the sideboard, one in the sideboard, and two in the main. This card is very good against creature decks that have Tarmogoyf in them, as well as graveyard based decks. This card is very versatile. It also digs through your deck to get more threats, so that's very good. Uh, I like this card. I think it's pretty good. It goes, it goes in between being a main deck card and a cyborg card, but it's always somewhere in the 75 of Tron since of its versatility. The black spell that's featured in the main deck is Collective Brutality. This card does it all and does it well. It helps against the aggro matchups, which are your worst matchups as a Tron deck. And it can strip those important cards from opponents' hands for other matchups as well. The Silver Scrying finds that third Tron land, or maybe utility land, such as Ghost Quarter, a Sanctum of Ugin when needed. Uh, this is not the classic art, uh, but it is still the classic spell of Tron. Oblivion Stone for eight mana, essentially. You can wipe the board uh, other than lands. So you can pay three to play it and pay five to crack it. That means on turn four, since you have Tron and one additional land, you'll be able to play and crack this and wipe the board and then reset and play your huge threat and win the game. This is where I've combined all of the converted mana costs into one pile of threats. You'll see the first threat that we're going to talk about is Worm Coil Engine. This card is searchable with Sanctum of Ugin. I believe. Mm -hmm. But it does not trigger Sanctum of Ugin. Uh, this card is very strong. It gains life. It gets you out of the burn range. It also is very good against creature matchups. It blocks everything. It kills everything. If it's removed, the only clean removal for it is Path. So if it's removed another way, it then creates even more of a mess. The card's great. Ugin the Spirit Dragon is awesome it triggers your sanctum of ugin it deals three damage to target opponent it bolts down creatures it also 
does great other things, such as exiling. There's the Ul there's the Ulamog, and the Ulamog exiles two target permanents when cast, so you you can destroy such things as man lands or creature lands, uh, and those creature lands are very essential to most game plans against Tron because Tron has a good way of answering the other threats they have, such as against Affinity, it's hard to answer their creature lands. So you can exile creature lands and then have a quick clock because exiling 20 cards from the library. Well, the game's over pretty quickly. It also triggers a Sanctum of Ugin and can be found with Sanctum of Ugin. Karn triggers Sanctum of Ugin, can be played on turn three with Tron active and exiles things from both the field and from your opponent's hands and can reset the game very infrequently does it reset the game but it just exiles 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 plus plus pluses has tons of loyalty and is very troublesome the last threat is world breaker world breaker is a sweet new card it can be brought back by sacrificing your lands and paying some colorless which the Urza's Tower, Power Plant, and Mine Produce. can be found with Sanctum of Ugin and Trigger Sanctum of Ugin. It has reach against the creature lands. It also can exile lands, artifacts, and enchantments. It's very versatile. It's a good threat that also removes troublesome permanents on the other side of the battlefield. So let's move to the sideboard and talk about the sideboard. You have your Duresses. Duresses are just a versatile card that is a nice removal spell against things that you do not want to see such as Blood Moon. You have your Fatal Pushes, your Fatal Pushes for your aggro matchups. This is an excellent card for removing troublesome creature lands as well as other aggro creatures. It is just a clean one mana answer to a lot of things. Uh, not You have the stars and the spheres in the main deck to trigger revolt, so you can kill those four mana Kalidases. Uh, you have the Nature's Claim against Affinity and other Blood Moon decks and uh, a whole assortment of decks. This is very uh, versatile. You don't really care about your opponent gaining for life, so you just get rid of what you need to, and then you kill them eventually. Pulse of Marasa is very good against Burn, as well as just getting back your threats against grindy matchups, where also Thragtusk comes in against those and you can pull some rounds to the Thragtusk for the full value. Then we have Engineered Explosives. Engineered Explosives is a only going to be done on two, uh, so it cannot get like Edge Champion, for instance. But Engineered Explosives can just demolish boards. Can you can get up to like seventy five percent of some opponent's boards off the out of the way by just one Engineered Explosives. You can vary from 2 to 4 mana in this deck. And then the Relic of Progenitus, as discussed earlier, is good against the Graveyard Synergy decks and against some Goyf decks as well. So that is the Black Green Tron deck in Modern. Hope you try it out, and I'll see you next time.